Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nichols, and today I'm going to be going over one of my favorite games of my childhood, and that is Sid Meier's Pirates. As in my other reviews, I'll be focusing on a few of what I consider to be the fundamental aspects of the game. Namely, overview, story and character development, art, music, mechanics, difficulty, replayability, negatives, and last but not least, the bottom line. Before I get into it, I stream live on Twitch five days a week, and I would love to see everyone in chat there, and the link will be in the description below. Check it out. I'm also trying to hit 50 subscribers by the end of the month, so tell your friends, your teachers, your pet snail, tell them all, tell everybody you know to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date for more videos like this in the future. As always with these reviews, there is a small chance that there will be mild spoilers in the video, so if you're looking to avoid those spoilers, turn back now before it's too late. And for anyone else still here, I'm happy you stayed. Now let's get right into it. You play a young man whose family has been kidnapped by the evil Marquis de Montauban. You alone escape capture. Ten years later, you side with the nation and finally set sail. At sea, you were treated like a slave and then started mutiny, which is successful. Now you are free to embark upon the main mission of the game, which is to bring your family back together conquering towns, looting and scooting, and taking down the biggest and baddest pirates to become a pirate legend. Now along the way, you will be sinking ships and sacking cities, which will make some rulers happy while making other rulers put bounties on your head. So choosing who to attack and when is important to progressing. To go along with all of this, you will be digging up buried treasure, finding lost Aztec cities, and wooing countless governor's daughters. So really try to explore the game. Find out how you personally like to play, and see what the game has to offer. Alright, well, so this is going to be a bit of a shorter section because, to be honest, there really isn't any character development per se. Rather, a list of achievements to complete and whatnot. You need to rescue various family members, take down top pirates, discover lost treasures, court governor's daughter, rank up with each of the nations, and all that. But at the end of the day, there really isn't a whole lot of character development. One really cool aspect about the game, however, is that every so often, your crew gets a bit angry with you and you have to divide the plunder. When you do this, you take a fraction of your total earnings at that time, and you split it among your current crew. Now, when you do this, your character ages by a couple years, so it's important not to do it too often, otherwise, your character will become old and lose most of his momentum, and the game will become kind of unplayable. Kind of sucks when you're like 80 years old, and you can't really do anything. Yeah, I've been there. For a game that came out in 2004, the graphics are surprisingly good. The colors are poppy, the music has that inspiring feel to it. Keep in mind that this is a Sid Meier's game, so there is always that Sid Meier's touch to the music. Who could forget the epic soundtracks from the Civ games? And this pirate game is no different. Heck, you could be sailing in a canoe, and with the music from this game, you'll honestly feel like you're just rocking a ship of the line. This game is best played on a keyboard with a numpad. If you don't have a numpad, a lot of the combat and some of the dancing and the navigation is just much more difficult than if you were to have a regular numpad. And I know that most people probably do have a numpad, but for those of us, like myself, who have a 10 keyless keyboard, I had to use my old keyboard which has those keys. Just something to keep in mind. Now as far as gameplay is concerned, it's not really that hard unless you're severely outmatched by some opponent or other. But outside of that, the gameplay is mostly easy. One of the more impressive aspects about the game is that it's very open world for a 2004 game. Obviously by today's standards, once you've played about 10 hours of it, the game does begin to feel a bit repetitive and you realize that, you know, it's not really that open world. But for a game that came out in 2004, this is very impressive. The entire game takes around 10 to 15 hours-ish to play about 95% of it, and the last 5% is really not going to give you a whole lot. It's more for the completionist among us than anything.
I found it difficult to justify replaying this game more than once, outside of any nostalgic reasons. Once you've completed pretty much all of the objectives and quests, and you've had all the fun you could want, there's really not a good reason to ever go back through the game. There's not really anything other than which nation you side with first that you would ever want to change in a second, third, or fourth playthrough, other than maybe marry a different governor's daughter. Now don't get me wrong, the game is absolutely fantastic and I love it, and it will keep you occupied for multiple hours, but at the end of the day, the story comes to a close, you've finished all your missions, and you move on. And that's okay. You do what you gotta do, sail the seven seas, sack as many cities as you want, get an entire fleet of ships of the line, and then you move on. Now before I go bashing this game and destroying its entire career, just remember, the game came out in 2004, so take these negatives with a little bit of a grain of salt. But one thing begins to stand out above the rest, and that is that the game begins to feel pretty shallow as you delve deeper into it. The missions get repetitive, and the one thing that I hate the most about the game is that you'll be capturing ships, growing rich, taking down towns, finding your long lost family, only to have your crew get angry and want to decide to divide the plunder. That sucks. It's like you've come all that way and amassed all those riches, only to have your crewmates get angry and make you have to start everything all over again. When this happens, you have to start over with your flagship and just 40 crew members. And what this really does is that it breaks up the pace of the game and slows it way down. Now I don't mind the game being slower, but when it needlessly breaks up the pace and makes you have to start over and redo things that you've already completed and accomplished, then I start to get a little bit upset and wonder how much longer I'm really going to be playing this because I don't know about you guys, I'm really not a big fan of restarting missions and redoing things that I feel are not that necessary, like rebuilding a crew. So we've hit the bottom line. Time to decide if this game is worth the monetary and time investment. And I have to say, yes, yes it is. At just $10 USD, this is a bit of a steal. And on top of that, the game is old enough and obscure enough to go on sale relatively frequently because it's just being lumped in with all of the other random games that go on sale from time to time. However, because how old it is, and coupled with the fact that it is a pretty shallow game once you get into it, I'm going to have to give this a pretty solid 7.8. And since it's so different from basically every other game out there, it's hard not to recommend it. And that is a wrap on Sid Meier's Pirates. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I hope this review helped and offered a little bit of gameplay without spoiling too much. This game is fantastic, and I hope all of you get a chance to play it sometime. If you like these reviews, or think them helpful, hitting that subscribe button would help me out a ton. It takes me about 6 hours to put something this simple together, and I would greatly appreciate it. And again, I stream all types of games 5 days a week at twitch.tv forward slash snickles1941, link in the description below, and I would love to see all of you there in chat sometime. And let me know in the comments below if you have played this game and what you thought of it. Also, let me know if there are any games that you would like me to review in a future video. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.